Hello friends, welcome to soft computing series. In this video, let's discuss classical and fuzzy sets. So let's see this figure. This figure shows the concept of classical set and fuzzy set. A classical set is defined by crisp boundaries. An ordinary set that is also known as classical or crisp set is called a collection of objects which have some properties distinguishing them from other objects which do not possess these properties. So in the above figure, first is the classical set that is also known as conventional set. So this is set A, conventional set or crisp set. This is a collection of objects which have properties different from other objects which do not have the same properties. This is the conventional set. Now let's see the fuzzy set. Fuzzy set is prescribed by vague or ambiguous properties. Hence its boundaries are ambiguously specified. So in the above example it can be seen this is the classical set that is conventional set A and this is B fuzzy set. So it has vague and ambiguous properties and the boundaries are also ambiguous. Here in the example we can see x belongs neither to A nor B. So this is the x. Next is y. y belongs completely to A. So in the set A there is a y. As both the pictures are dark in color you will not see y and z. But y belongs to A and B and Z belongs to B. So second is Y belongs completely to A that is Y is in A set. Next Z belongs completely to B that is Z is in B set. Last one T belongs partially to B. So this is T. So this is the example where X is the universe of discourse and there are two set A and B. A is the conventional set and B is the fuzzy set where the objects have some properties and they are different from the other objects. That is the objects of fuzzy set. Now let's see another example. So in this example X is the universe of discourse containing elements of the universe. In this universe, A, capital A, is a fuzzy set. So small a belongs to capital A, but here the B does not belong to A. And C partially belongs to A set. So this is the example. So basically, the universe of discourse is the universe which contains all the available information that is collection of objects having the same characteristics. Now let's learn some basic terminologies. Number one, the individual elements in the universe X will be denoted as small x. So X, capital X is the universe and each element will be denoted by the small x. The features of the elements in capital X can be discrete countable integers or or having continuous valued quantities on the real line. So this is about the small x that is the individual element. So the small x indicates individual elements in the universe that is capital X. That is small x is the element capital X is the universe. Next, the total number of elements is in the universe capital X is called its cardinal, its cardinal number. That is, all the number of elements in the universe is known as cardinal number and denoted by Nx. Now let's see sets. What is a set? Collection of elements in universe are called as sets. Next is 
subsets. Subsets is the collection of elements within sets. So here sets is collection of elements in the universe whereas subset is the collection of sets in the universe. Last one whole set. So the collection of all possible sets in the universe is called whole set or power set. So all the set for example here A is a set. So the collection of set all the set in the universe is called as the whole set or power set. In this video we learn about the concept of classical and fuzzy sets. We also learn the basic concepts of sets, subsets, whole set, cardinal number and individual element. Subscribe to the channel and have a nice day.